Say hello to winter, not just any llama. Her blood might save us all from COVID-19. Researchers have discovered that llamas produce a type of antibody that could be vital in fighting the coronavirus infection in humans. Those llama antibodies, uh, their binding entity is much smaller and much more stable. The eureka moment at this tiny Belgian lab came January 20th. They realised research with llamas a couple of years ago could catapult them to a cure fast and scaled up immediately from 2 to 20 staff. So we've worked um, really, really long hours, um, especially in February and March um, when we were um, racing to get the antibody. Now they're racing to test their antibodies on mice and hamsters. Everything here is happening at much faster speed than normal, but it still takes time. That white flask there contains billions of antibodies that can be used in about a hundred animal tests. But even that can take up to 10 days to produce. Unusually for an academic lab this small, they're working parallel tracks, refining the antibodies as they go, planning to pick the best and scale up for humans as soon as they can. We have to do multiple other studies like toxicity, repeat some animal experiments, and then hopefully by the end of the year, everything should be in place to do the first clinical test. The biggest beneficiaries could be the elderly because generally their immune systems are weaker the lab's antibodies could aid the effectiveness of vaccines already being tested. So it could be that a vaccine might protect uh, healthy adults, but might be less useful in elderly. Uh, and in this way, just by providing the antibody itself directly, uh, you might protect elderly as well. But many people are impatient. At Alama Farm in the UK, owner Bobby Shuck is already getting calls about the healing possibilities of llamas. We have had rather silly people, in my opinion, who phoned up and asked, can they come and take blood from the llama to drink it? But um, no, we're not going to let people drink their blood. And if they did, it wouldn't help. That's not how antibodies work. What worries the researchers in Belgium is they may be running out of time as lockdowns begin to ease. If you look at the daily case numbers globally, um, it's just flat. Um, it's just we have about 100,000 cases every day. Um, Across the world. For the last month, yeah. It's pretty clear that as soon as we relax things with international travel, it's going to come back. Um, and so we need to be ready for that. Winter, on the other hand, can take it easy. Her job, gifting her antibody code, is done. Hospitals filled, jobs lost, people in masks. Everywhere you look, there are signs of the coronavirus crisis. It's just the beginning. Until we have an effective vaccine and unless something very unexpected happens, our viral enemy will be with us for many months and possibly many years. Researchers racing to find a vaccine that prevents COVID-19. According to the World Health Organization, scientists have more than 100 vaccines under development across the globe, with at least eight approved for clinical trials. Normally it takes three or four months to establish that the vaccine is safe. That's actually the most important first question. And then we want to know if it's tolerated well and if it produces an antibody response that might be protective. But experts say we most likely won't know if these vaccines work until next year. Talking about a, you know, a one-year timeline here, or maybe a little better if we're very lucky, um, that's a blazing uh, process for vaccine development. As the world awaits, life will look different. In Three Forks, Montana, school is back in session. I've been trusting them for the last several years to take care of my kids, and I'm trusting them now. Teachers wore masks and students socially distanced as they entered Willow Creek School for the first time since the coronavirus pandemic began. They know they can't hug their friends. They know they got to sit away from them, but they're glad to be back. One of the ways our immune system protects us from viruses is through antibodies. Antibodies are proteins in our blood that attach themselves to parts of viruses. 
that limits the infection and also alerts white blood cells to come in, attack, and eliminate the virus. So in many cases, if the body encounters the same virus again, the immune system has leftover antibodies that are taught and remember the previous infection. These cells can either fight off the deadly virus directly, or they can produce more antibodies to help prevent the infection. Researchers aren't entirely sure why this process works so well for some viruses, but not others. Our immune system seems to remember some viruses better than others. A person is generally protected for life after one encounter with viruses like chickenpox or polio. However, there are some viruses that our immune systems seem to easily forget. Scientists have reported that immunity could be short-lived after encounters with some common seasonal coronaviruses, which can cause the common cold. That could help explain why we can repeatedly get sick with something as simple as a cold, even if we think we've been exposed to cold viruses before. We could be getting exposed to new strains as well. And some viruses, like the flu, can mutate often, which means our old antibodies no longer work against new strains. While most experts do believe that we're probably going to have some protection after being infected with the coronavirus, we're still not sure just how long that protection will be or how strong.